Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. How y'all doing? Welcome to an unedited chat where I just run my mouth and I'm not going to edit. It's really practice for me because I'm not really good at extemporaneous speaking. I'm not good at just speaking off the cuff. I'm one that has to, especially for a video, um, I have to plan out what I'm gonna say. I have to make mental note cards. Sometimes I have to make real note cards um, also because my memory is not so good as it used to be. Um, so sometimes I'll know what I'm gonna wanna talk about and by the time I turn on the camera, I can't remember all my points. But on my unedited chat, it's just that I'm trying to improve myself. So and speaking of improvement, um, what in your life are you trying to improve? Share with me, whether it's your attitude, whether it's your uh, financial stability, um, whether it's being better steward over your money, or um, whether it's getting out of your comfort zone, um, whatever, share with me what um, what is it that you're working to improve in your life and believe me if you're not working to improve anything in your life then you're either working one direction or the other you're either you're either working to improve or you dig are you staying still and stagnant which is basically the same as you're digressing you're going backwards so hopefully you're always seeking to improve um, as well um, another area in my life where I'm seeking to improve, y'all, my sisters and I, we hung out, we always hanging out. We hung out last night before I went to work. But, um, and I always say I'm going to catch little clips of us hanging out. But when I get my with my sisters, there nobody else exists. My husband doesn't exist. My daughter doesn't exist. <laughs> That's a shame. But it's just true. The camera doesn't exist when I go with my sisters. But um, anyway, but, but a couple of weeks ago, my sisters and I were hanging out and we just had some good, deep conversation. And the question was posed, um, what is it that, tell, tell me a secret that each of us don't know about each other. Well, none of us, cause we're, we're so close and we basically share everything. None of us had any secrets or maybe we didn't have any we wanna share. Cause y'all, cause we don't, I don't care how close you are, sometimes you don't share everything. But uh, what we what, what what the question kind of turned into was, what is it that you're working on? Well, I'm not going to share what they're working on because that was our personal business. But I don't mind sharing what I'm working on. And one thing that I told them that I discovered about myself was, and this is hard to admit, you guys, but I'm mentally lazy. And this is what I mean by mentally lazy. Okay, y'all, I don't mean to. I'm not being conceited or pat myself on the back or anything, but I'm very intelligent. But I don't want to, but I only want to be as intelligent as my mental, okay, how can I put this? I, I only want, I'm only as intelligent as I will allow myself, okay, God, let me put, okay, let me see how I can put this. I know that I'm intelligent, but I only want to reach, a, I only will go to a certain level. If I go anywhere beyond stretching myself, if I have to stretch myself beyond a certain point, then I give up. I don't want to, I don't want to do the research or I don't want to push myself beyond, like say for instance, um, probably I could better explain it like if I um, give you some examples. Like say for instance, I start writing a song. I wrote this song, y'all, so long ago, but I got stuck. And I gave up on it probably three, four years ago. And it's a good song. Y'all know I love country music. It's a country song. And it's a good song. Um, but I only I could only go so far. And then by the, then then my intelligence only took me so far. But then I had to really work for the rest of it. And I didn't want to work mentally. I don't know if that makes sense. If anybody understands what I'm saying. Um, and if I got anybody who's like that, please let me know if I'm not the, I'm not the only one, but I may be the only one. That's okay. Um, but, or say for instance, um, the book relationship book that I want to write. I've been saying this forever, you guys. And what I discovered, and this is what I was sharing with my sisters. What I discovered was a lot of times we say fear, fear hold us back. Fear is the biggest thing that hold us back. Well, it's not fear that's holding me back. 
And I'll tell you why I believe that. What's holding me back is being I'm being mentally lazy because this is what it this is what I believe if it was fear, I would have written the book or at least written a manuscript or at least written half a book or a few chapters and then I would have been afraid to send it out to um, fear would have stopped me from sending it out to to or to getting it published or sending it out to publishers. That's fear. But no, I haven't I put one single letter, not a I, not a A, not a Z, not a D on paper. Why? Because in my mind I start thinking about how I want to do this book, how I want to do the chapter, what I want to, and I got overwhelmed in my mind. So I can never put pen to paper because I'm overwhelmed before I even put pen to paper. I'm sure I'm overthinking it. I'm a Virgo. I'm overanalyzing it. But also, too, I mentally, I didn't want, want to push myself beyond my comfort. And y'all, that's what I'm working on. I mean, this is honesty hour. This is not something that feels good to share with y'all because that's not a good thing. That's not good to be mentally lazy. Um, but and let me tell you all how I derived. Also, I, and I shared this with my sister. Let me tell you how I derived at this. I was talking to my daughter and my daughter, she, Derrica is smart. And she graduated from Xavier University 4.0. She she didn't start out that way. She started out in a in her freshman year, almost getting kicked out of college. But by the time she graduated, she had a 4.0. And Xavier is an awesome, very well established um, school. But she graduated, and but my daughter likes manual labor type jobs. She likes physical jobs, and she likes jobs that barely pay. Um, well, I won't say she liked jobs, but she usually worked jobs that barely paid much. And I'm always like, Derricka, you're you're wasting your college degree, Derricka. Um, push yourself mentally, Derricka. Seek, you know, um, better jobs. Der and then it dawned on me one day as I'm trying to push her and encourage her. It dawned on me, honey, that apple didn't fall far from the tree. It didn't even fall. She caught it. <laughs> because, Deidre... You because you don't seek the the excellence that you um, encourage her to have, the excellence that you encourage others to have. It's like because you don't want to push yourself mentally, you stay in your comfort, which my comfort is my job. I mean, I love, love, love what I do. Now I'm an operator, police dispatcher, but I know I'm so much more than that. But because I don't want to push myself mentally, then I stay within my comfort. Okay, you guys, I did not mean to share all that with y'all. I'm telling you, I came here to do an unedited chat and, I don't know, tell y'all what's going on in the blessed place. But maybe this will help somebody. I don't know why I'm telling y'all my business. Because that don't feel good. It don't feel good to let y'all know my the secrets of my heart. But this me. I'm real. We real over here in the blessed place. And maybe just sharing that will help somebody. So... Uh, what I'm going to do, a couple of steps I'm going to do to try to get myself, no, not try, did you not try, get myself out of this laziness. I'm going to sign up for um, a couple of courses. Number one, I'm going to sign up for, um, a, because I want to be a public speaker. Well, I am a public speaker, but I want to broaden that. So I'm going to sign up for um, public speaking uh, courses. I think I'm going to sign up maybe with uh, John Maxwell. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm going to do a little research on that, but I think John Maxwell, who's, who I'm going to sign up with. And I'm also going to take um, some few courses on, I'm going to get certification in um, in coaching and life coaching and relationship coaching. So those are two of the things I'm going to do to push myself mentally uh, beyond just being stagnant uh, in my intellectual uh, abilities. So that's what I'm going to work on to improve myself. And I like I said, I don't know why I shared this intimate stuff with y'all because that doesn't feel good to admit. But that's what I discovered about me. I'm mentally lazy and I want to, and I know that I'm intelligent. I don't apologize for my intelligence. But I do apologize for not, not, um, what? I mean, not apologize to you guys, apologize to myself. It's like the talent. 
it's that's what it does remind me of is if you don't know the Bible study just real quickly you know the, the people were given talents and some hid their talents and some used their talents and that's what it is it's like I'm not fully using the talents that God has given me so that's what I'm gonna be working on okay you guys I don't know why I told y'all my business all right, you guys, I'm getting ready to go to a little birthday party. It's a little four-year-old, but you know how us adults do. <laughs> It'll be way more adults <laughs> than um, kids. Also, too, here, I just want to show you my little accessories there. I love that. That's handmade. Somebody made that for me. I had earrings, but I broke the earrings that go with it. That's my ring. So I just got another pair of earrings. Um, the same person who made this necklace, she also made these earrings. Okay, you guys, love y'all. Y'all be blessed. I hope somebody was blessed by my business. <laughs>